all right what's going on guys welcome back to the channel i thought i'd get one more video out today or at least record it i might not get it down uh uploaded until tomorrow but i thought i'd take y'all down here to old lock eight i think now it's called old lock and dam But uh, everybody around here knows it as Old Lock 8. It's a pretty good place to fish. There are campsites. They are elevated, so if the river floods, you won't be underwater. Um, there are multiple ways in. But this is the easiest way. So... thought I would go over that um, I've been down here several times the most I've ever seen down here was like two or three campers and I don't even I don't even think there was anybody in them but some of you might be like me and when you go out into the outdoors you want to be away from everybody I don't mind stopping and talking to people. As a matter of fact, in the videos I did yesterday at HK Thatcher, uh, as I was filming one, I actually pulled up on a guy and we got to talking and had a pretty decent conversation. But not everybody's like that. I can say that much. But this is actually, this is a nice place down here. And I can't tell you how many times I've been down here and had the entire place to myself. Uh, what it is, is uh, the old river channel comes off the main channel right above the dam loops makes a big loop around and comes back to the main river channel below the dam and at old lock eight there's a piece of concrete going all the way across the old river channel separates the upper end from the lower end and they use it like a spillway kind of but there is a boat ramp on the upper end and there's a boat ramp on the lower end so if you're down there camping you can you can fish either end it's kind of nice now this right here to the right is uh, some primitive campsites. I don't know if y'all saw that vehicle parked there. It's also parking for hunting the uh, game and fish lands over here. make another video about that some other day I don't know why I might record it while I'm down here today just do a little bit of editing and as you can see the ditches are full of water it's been raining pretty much all day at least a a steady drizzle sprinkle whatever you want to call it the river may be up whenever we get down here but I hope not because I'd actually like to see what it looks like uh, when it's low down here because been following my other videos you know right now the Washita River is um, somewhere between five and eight foot below uh, low level <coughs> basically it's that far below 
the lowest point it gets during the year, which is uh, usually late August, early September. And that's because they've had to let the water down to work on the new lock eight. I don't really have any specifics on what they're doing. I was just told by some people that would know that that's why the river is down that low. Bear with me because this is probably going to be a long video. So I'm going to film one video of going down there and then probably another video of uh, the campground while I'm there. And some of my other videos I've done like that. And my friends didn't understand why. And the reason why I'm doing that is so that I can share a location of where I started from. And if you watch the video, you'll see how to get there. And I can also share the location of where it actually is. That way, maybe, if there's not any kinks in Google Maps or something like that, it'll take you straight down there. But that's why I'm doing them both, in case it doesn't. some of these places where it's there's trees hanging over the road it's kind of dark and we still got a good little ways till we get down there so hopefully it doesn't get too dark on us five miles camping boat ramp and uh, bathrooms I think
road noise you can hear, but uh, the road, if you can hear the road noise, the road is not that rough. I'm just in my car and it has a stiff sport suspension on it. So it makes it probably sound like it's rough in the video or adds vibration to the camera. big boat in. This end of it or the end up by the highway or that goes under the highway and I haven't been very far down in Bang Slough off of the old river channel maybe a hundred yards but then again I have a older heavy fiberglass boat and there was all kinds of logs and stuff and yeah I didn't want to go swimming that day so I hope you don't blame me And it is dry right now. But you see how primitive the boat ramp is. Um, like I said, I do know people that come down here and duck hunt it. Um, there used to be a guy that would put signs out everywhere right here. And try to have people's vehicles towed. So, I don't, I have never bothered putting a boat in there. I have stopped and caught bait off the bank, but never got, you know, more than 15 foot from the truck or vehicle I was riding in, just because of that fact. Yeah, Bang Slough barely has any water in it. like it has some muddy water coming in right now so it means the river is probably going up which would be the logical thing for it to be doing and I say that jokingly because If you haven't been paying attention, there has been like, I don't know, there was one day where the news said there was like an inch of rain dumped in one day in the Washita National Forest in northern Arkansas. 
where the old river channel comes right up by the road and it looks like the river is still down about three foot or so four foot five foot it's definitely not up to normal level these people in front of us and there's another truck further on down coming our way must be going to a camp or something either that or they're they're just doing what I'm doing coming down here to look I don't know if how much y'all been paying attention but we have passed quite a few houses there are quite a few houses on this road right there that we just went by um, don't go that way unless you've been that way before or I wouldn't anyways I've been that way several times but this guy in front of us would uh, drive just a little bit faster 15 miles an hour is uh, starting to get ridiculous there might be a few people down here at the campground right now because it is duck season. The second split of the duck season. Uh, if you're not from Arkansas watching this video, our duck season is split into three different uh, length, uh, different times. Uh, I think the first one is usually two weeks. The second one's usually two and a half or three weeks and the third one is usually three weeks don't quote me on that because i'm i'm not a duck hunter uh, i just have a few friends that are so i'm still learning about it i put it like that that's probably the only thing that i haven't gotten into as far as hunting and fishing goes in arkansas it definitely is the only thing that is a big deal that I haven't gotten into. here camping and you find out that the water's coming up uh, it's not an immediate thing but you might want to uh, 
have everything packed up and ready to go because this water this road that we're on right now i have seen it so deep underwater that i could come through here in my boat on plane Here we are. Old Lock 8. Old Lock and Dam 8 recreation area. I guess this is Army Corps of Engineers and not Game and Fish Commission. But uh, it says the Louisiana Field Office is the one to contact if you have any questions. We'll go ahead and stop the video here since it's uh, 21 minutes long. Then I'll do a tour of the uh, area. 